Yesterday, I was taking an interview for Legends of Biotech, 11th episode, and my guest was Alistair Campbell. Now, Alistair Campbell is the employee number seven at Dotmatics. Now, this company got acquired recently by Siemens. And Siemens is again a very big company. So, Siemens paid $5.1 billion, right, for acquiring Datamatics. And that, of course, makes uh, Alistair Campbell a rich person. And he's a senior vice president of uh, Datamatics. He told me a very interesting thing that 2025, it's already a milestone year in biotech, right? Now, such a big pioneer in Datamatics says that. My question is why and how? How 2025 is a milestone year in biotech and why you should know this. See, 2025 is the year where AI really took off. Right. Last two years, we have seen the large language models, but now we are seeing natural language processing in drug discovery. Right. So AI and computational biology exploding in drug discovery. That's number one. That's why it is a milestone. Number two, now we are seeing gene therapy, gene editing scaling up. Technologies like CRISPR is now growing. Right. Now there we have better delivery systems like viral and non-viral viral delivery systems for CRISPR as well. Then we are seeing the RNA and self-replicating RNA that is sRNA platforms emerging. So new biotech partnership is happening now, Novo Nordisk, Replicate Biosciences. They are coming up with sRNA for metabolic diseases and obesity, right? Then on the top of it, we are seeing RNA and self-replicating platforms emerge. Cellular therapies, CAR T cell therapy coming up. Precise patient-centric diagnostics and AI in diagnostics coming up. Regenerative medicine finally taking off and of course a lot of funding flowing into the biotech sector. While the IT people are getting laid off, AI companies is hiring people, right? So a lot of things are happening. That's why I'm saying this is a milestone year. And all you have to do is capitalize by learning AI and computational biology. You're going to win. All the best.